Good morning and welcome to story time. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining us today and you are welcome to our reading today of The Lights and Types of Ships at Night. Words by Dave Eggers and illustrations or art by Annie Dills. Yes. Very on Aucklander, Annie Dills. But of course, this one is the latest from Dave Eggers. And if you remember, he brought us What Can a Citizen Do and many other books. But today we are reading The Lights and Types of Ships at Night. Amazing book. I am excited to read this one with you. And remember, you can get yourself a copy or pre order. It comes out officially on November the 17th. And this one is published by Max Sweeney. So, yeah. Yes, the latest one, and you're getting an exclusive right here on Storytime. Good morning to you and welcome today. Thank you so much for joining in. Please, please let us know who is joining in with you and where you are joining us from. And of course, if you're joining in alone, you're still very welcome here. There are many of us here on Storytime, and we are happy to have you here with us. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope you are ready for this beautiful book. And of course, yes, like just beautifully written. And beautiful illustrations. I think we're in for a treat on that end. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Happy Friday. I hope you had a good Friday. If it is nighttime where you are, if it's afternoon, I hope you're enjoying your Friday. And if it's morning, like here in Auckland or uh, wherever you are, then please welcome and enjoy the rest of your Friday. I hope you get some well-deserved rest or indeed whatever you're up to, enjoy it to the max. Thank you so much for joining in story time kids good morning to you thank you for joining in story time as always we're here with another beautiful story and this one is the lights and types of ships at the sea oh sorry at night mr Lamada here happy friday <laughs> the lights and types of ships at night yes that's the book we're reading today thank you so much for joining in let us see who is with us today all right we have Jen Yanka, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Is it Yen Yanka? How are you today? Thank you so much for joining in. Please let us know who is joining in with you and where you are joining us from. Good morning to you, Jen. Good morning to you. How many bath? Yes, in for this one. How many bath? It is the latest from Dave Eggers and it's called The Lights and Types of Ships at Night. Yes, it's a beautiful book indeed. I hope you enjoy it. Ellen Edwards in Chicago. Good morning to you how are you doing how is Chicago today Oakland is projected to be hot today so how are you doing in Chicago I hope you're having a better day weather wise and everything else as well thank you so much for joining in Steph Wang good morning to you how are you doing today where are you joining us from happy Friday to you and yours thank you so much for joining in yes yes indeed Ellen Edwards happy Friday to you too and Braveman Gibbs, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Lucy. And good morning to you, Wally. I say drop everything that you're doing today and join in for this one. There are some beautiful pictures to see today. Thank you so much for joining in. Story time. Good morning to you, Nathan and Sarah. And Sarah, how are you doing out in Chile, Illinois? Ooh. Please press up warmly, have your hot chocolate and everything delicious. Thank you so much for joining in. Story time. I hope we can make you cozy today. Yes, story time is here for you. Good morning to you, Amanda, West, Nathan, and Sarah. Good morning. Lucy and Wally are eating pumpkin bagels. Oh, delicious. My goodness, you're making me hungry here. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I wish you a lovely weekend as well. But we have a story to enjoy before then. Thank you so much, as always, and Braveman Gibbs, and Lucy, and Wally, much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lucy. I am so glad. And remember, Lucy, if you have any favorite books that you like read on Storytime, please let me know and we'll see if it's stories that we can get permission for and absolutely share them with you right here. So let me know. Sam Black, how are you doing? Where are you joining us from? And who is joining in with you, Sam? Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and welcome to Storytime. Happy Friday to you, Harmony Beth, one more time. Oh, absolute no, I love it. Thank you for what you do for 
for me right here. This is where I want to be. Just makes me happy checking in on everybody and also sharing great stories together from amazing creators. Thank you so much for joining in. Ellen, you're saying Chicago is drizzly and chilly. All right, please do stay dry and do stay warm. Thank you so much for sharing. Sonia Abrantes and João Tiago in Portugal. Good morning to you. Or is it good afternoon to you? Please have yourselves a lovely rest of the day. Thank you so much for joining in. How are you doing? Always a pleasure to see you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Soraya and Sharon Lungo right here in Auckland. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope you're ready for this exclusive, The Lights and Types of Ships at Night. And this one is written by Dave Eggers. It comes out officially on November 17th. So do get yourself a copy. Pre-order now. Thank you so much. All right. So we're about to get into our story and find out about all the different beautiful ships out there that we can see. Let's join in. Let's see how many you know and how many you already know and how many you learn about. The new ones that you find out. And also, one thing about this book is that there's a sea lion. There's a sea lion on each page. Let's see if you can find it. It's a little hard to find, but it's there. So just look closely and we'll see if we can find it. All right. And I'll try to move some of the pages closer so you can take a look. But it's there. Find the sea lion today. This is the latest book from Dave Eggers. It's called The Lights and Types of Ships at Night. And um, it is illustrated by Annie Deals. And Annie Deals is an Aucklander. Yes, right here in Auckland. All right. And this one is being read with permission of Max Sweeney's. And um, yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go together. Let us go sailing. <laughs> So many beautiful pictures. I hope you enjoy them. And there we go. You may have heard of ships. They float on water and carry people and things. Can we see the seal on this one? Can you find the seal? I'm going to help you with the first one right there. Can you see? Right there. So let's see if we can see the next one. The seal is right there poking out its head. All right, so that's the first one. You may have heard of ships. They float on water and carry people and things. I love the colors. You may have heard of the sea. It's, it's when water gets together with a plan to surround us. Aww. <laughs> You may have heard of night. It's what happens when the earth turns away from the sun. And last, you may have heard of beauty. It's what we call something that pleases the eye so much, we ache and say, oh, <laughs> look at that. But did you realize that of all the world's most beautiful sights, there is nothing more beautiful than a ship and its lights on the sea at night? Keep looking for that seal, see if you can find it. This is true. This is a factual book. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Look at this ship. It is a container ship full of giant boxes of things. On this ship, there are giant boxes of toys and giant boxes of bicycles and giant boxes of oven mitts and basketballs. And this ship is lighted by a thousand lights. And these lights are reflected on the, are reflected on the to and fro obsidian sea. Has there ever been anything more beautiful? No. <laughs> maybe there is maybe it's this this is a troller a kind of fishing ship look at its strange arms look at its strange face look at its lights as they are doubled on the water has there been a prettier picture we say no <laughs> 
How beautiful is that? And can you find the seal? <laughs> oh, actually, maybe this is better. This is a Roro. Is there anything better than the name Roro? Yes, there is something better, and that is the sight of a Roro moving swiftly through the water at night. Roros are so named because they carry cars. They roll on and roll off. Thus, Roro, which makes them the best ever of all boats. <laughs> But no, there is this. This is an exploration vessel. It's designed to explore the unknown oceans, to map the seafloor, to find new underwater species. Look at this round radar unit. Look at its winches, winches and cranes. This is surely the most beautiful of all shapes at night. Which one do you think is the most beautiful? They are amazing indeed. Oh, wait, look here. This is a Bauka. See it? So long and so low. It's about to carry corn and cement and heavy stuff like that. Baukas are everywhere. And they sail at night. And with their lights on, they go from boring Baukas to something magical and triumphant. Look, how can you disagree? <laughs> Just look at how beautiful that is. <laughs> Keep looking for that sea lion. Forget what we said about all the other ships being the most beautiful. This is a paddle wheel ferry boat. And nothing ever has more gorgeously floated in the night. Look at the lights. So many lights. Ferry boats like this were developed on the great Mississippi River and are known for for chugging up and down rivers with giant paddle wheels spinning in the back to, to carry forth all the passengers. Look at that. <laughs> Never could there be anything prettier. And can we see the seal right there? Yeah. <laughs> Except these. These are galleons. Have you heard of galleons? Not a gallon, a galleon. They were great and fast sail driven boats favored by European sailors and even pirates back in the day and were once lighted with oil powered lanterns. Now the antique galleons that still sail the sea are decorated with modern lights inside and out, up and down and when they appear at night like illuminated dreams of the past. They are the best of all things on water. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. But perhaps you like ice. Perhaps you like ships that blast through the ice with lights of every color. Do you? Do you? It could be that you do. This is an icebreaker. An indestructible and brave ship that cuts through ice near the Earth's poles, forging a path for other ships with its purpose and its lights that turn and sweep surely the icebreaker is the most stunning of ocean vessels. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, or, or, it could be these. These are known as junks. They come from China and have been around for a thousand years or more. Look at their beautiful sails, which look like the wings of dragons. Junks are used to move cargo and people and are still used today all over the waterways of Asia, from India to the Philippines. They can be, there can be nothing better to look at ever on water. <laughs> can you find the sea lion? <laughs> Unless you come across this, this is a small fishing boat, a kind, a kind often seen all over the world, from Taiwan to the Mediterranean Sea. A few people will operate the boat and they will fish at night, using bright lights to bring the fish to the surface. 
Why? Because fish are drawn to the moon. This is true. <laughs> when the moon is bright, tiny animals called plankton come to the surface. And then tiny fish come to eat the plankton. And bigger fish come to eat the smaller fish. So these fisher people will use bright lights to mimic the moon to fish for fish. <laughs> Oh, but maybe you don't like fish. The smell, the scales. Maybe instead you like Paris. This is a riverboat designed to cruise up and down the Seine. The river that winds, the river that winds through Paris, France. See how low it is, how sleek it needs to be to fit under the low bridges that are everywhere in Paris and allow people and cars and bikes to cross the river. And when they cross the river at night, they see, and someday you will see. These low river boats sh shushing, shushing through the golden Parisian water. You could travel the world and find nothing anywhere more beautiful, period. <laughs> oh, so many great boats. But maybe you are tired. We have seen so many boats from all over the globe, and maybe you are ready to rest. If you are ready to rest, there is no better place than on a, th on a houseboat. A houseboat is exactly what it sounds like, a house that is also a boat. <laughs> a floating home. And when a floating home has dimmed its lights, when everyone inside is ready to sleep, there is nothing prettier, nothing happier. Nothing better anywhere on the sea. Ah, <laughs> oh, the end. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And before we even talk about how amazing that book was, look at this. The, co the cover comes off and there is a stunning picture on there. Look at that. <laughs> Yes, that was indeed our story for today. Absolutely amazing. And this one is called The Lights and Types of Ships at Night. This one is the latest book coming from Dave Eggers and of course illustrated by an Oaklander, Annie Deals. This is amazing book. Please pre-order for yourself and be sure to find it. Look at the story time pages to see where you can find it. And um, yeah, follow the links and get yourself a copy. One for the libraries for sure. But I absolutely love this book and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed those illustrations indeed. And of course, learn something about boats. I learned so much. Thank you for joining in story time today. And please do find this one, the latest from Dave Eggers and of course illustrated by Annie Deals. Beautiful, beautiful book. And I hope you are able to find the sea lion. Thank you so much for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed that book. Of course, story time will be back next week and we will be looking at black authors for the entire week, beginning with one Barack Obama with OV I sing. So that is next week. But for today, I hope you enjoyed that one. And please, please let us know how much you love that book. It is a beautiful one indeed. From Max Sweeney's The Latest by Dave Eggers and Annie Deals. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. I hope you enjoyed that book and learned something as well. Thank you so much. Definitely one to cheer us up and give us some beautiful information, fun facts about boats and of course the waterways. Thank you, thank you for joining in Storytime. I hope you enjoyed it today. Let's see who else is with us one more time. Sonia Abrantes and João Tiago, I wish you a beautiful rest of the day out there in Portugal. Thank you, thank you. And of course, Sharon Lungo and Soraya, happy Friday to you. Please have yourselves a beautiful rest of the day and of course a good weekend. Jade and of course Ava Scarlett, good morning to you one more time. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. And from LBC, good morning to you Clay and Chriselle. Thank you for joining in story time today. I hope you enjoyed that one. And of course congratulations to you. Um, as I saw the Dodgers are keeping in it, keeping in it, staying in it. <laughs> good morning to you Timothy Dixon, the Softbox salute. Yes, thank you so much. And of course the wonderful 
new theme song for story time that is tim dixon right there the job of tim dixon the softbox salute thank you so much i salute you my brother thank you so much for the wonderful work and of course maria antonia and davi thank you for joining in this morning absolutely love it thank you so much good morning to you Julia Dills, welcome to Storytime. Thank you for joining us this morning. Please let us know where you're joining us from and who indeed is joining in with you. I hope you enjoyed that one. That is indeed a beautiful book that we had today, The Lights and Types of Ships at Night. And that one is by Dev Egg Dave Eggers and Annie Dills. I hope you enjoyed that beautiful book, the latest from Dave Eggers and Max Sweeney's. Good morning to you. Thank you. Carleen Murillo, how are you doing today? Good morning to you. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining in story time. Good to see you. <laughs> Andrea Marx, it has been a while. Good to see you. Thank you for joining in. How are you doing? Thank you. Danny Rodriguez, Isabella Luis and Leslie, good morning to you. Thank you for joining in. Another great book. And uh, Isabella, I will see you in class very soon. Thank you everybody for joining in story time today. Tim Dick and you say I love it absolutely I love it as well and Braveman Gibbs and Lucy you say beautiful yes absolutely oh thank you so much well Lucy you say you love Kamala and Maya's big idea well thank you for sharing that one I will definitely look into it thank you thank you thank you Annie deals thank you so much yes right here in Auckland and you say thank you so much no absolutely thank you for your wonderful work absolutely and for gracing us this morning as well this is indeed great art I love it I love it I love it and I'm sure everybody out there shares that sentiment beautiful book indeed thank you so much for sharing it and people of course you know look at the link below see where you can get yourself a copy indeed one for your library yes coming in from Dave Eggers and Annie Dills it's my first time coming across the work of Annie Dills but I am absolutely in love with it right now beautiful beautiful work indeed absolutely thank you so much for joining in this morning all right thank you thank you thank you uh, Rachel Reed Mudenda in El Paso Texas how are you doing it has been a minute good to see you here my sister enjoy your muso hair on a Friday yes yes good morning to you Maria Antonia Davi everybody that joined in story time today I appreciate you we had a great week great new books yes we started off with an amazing book on monday and then we came into life on tuesday and then yesterday we were reading Inno Santos' new book and today we rounded it off with another brilliant book from dave eggers and annie deals thank you so much for joining in story time today we're back next week with more stories sharing more stories and if there are books that we've read just like these i know this week there'll be books people will be asking me to read them again Again, please do let me know I am happy to do repeats that's why books are there for us to go back and back again and of course remember if you have it in your own library you can read it as many times as you want thank you so much for sharing story time today much love from me as always and of course a big thank you to Max Sweeney's and Dave Eggers and Annie Deals for sharing this amazing work today but we're back for story time next week as we celebrate black authors for the entire week so do join us for that amazing lineup as well this has been story time this week another great week together i look forward to many many more together and hopefully soon we can be able to travel and go out and be outside safely but for now please remember the protocols right follow the guidelines mask up do all the things that are needed to stay necessary social distancing all the things do them follow those and we should be fine please thank you so much and remember as well vote 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 on october 19th is the last day you can register to vote please do that your voice matters your voice counts so do that go ahead register vote and also play your part in many different ways that we can this has been story time much love from me and i will see you again next friday thank you and much love bye bye